Hi, this is Generalizer. This is going out to all my EBN friends. As you know, I've been working on a multi-chambered uh, bubbler slash dryer slash uh, reservoir. Um, I'm going to uh, show you uh, the construction in very short uh, uh, segments. I've got most of this already put together. I'm going to try to keep the uh, amount of file space down that the uh, uh, webcam takes up. The very first part of this is a very small secondary bubbler that I've constructed. They use a standard ABS. There's uh, caps in the top and bottom. Caps at the top will actually have holes drilled in it. Uh, this is for a standard little fill check, level check, water check, and then of course a fill tube. I have constructed a male collar, male adapter with a plastic round adapter plate, which fits on here. goes to the bottom. Let's see what this is all about in a second. Now, that construct, that's the secondary bubbler. For the um, dryer, I have another plastic collar that I've created, and I've actually pieced together male and female adapters. Thread that in and attach this to the top as well. What that does, it gives us the drying chamber and the ability to either extend the drying chamber and the ability to either extend or shorten uh, how much space we have in the, the, the dryer chamber. To cap that all off, I have another collar, but you'll, but you'll notice this time there's only two holes one for a fitting and then another small hole here. This all goes together the same manner, screws down. I have a small hole here and a small hole up here, which I line up. And I line those up with the actual bottom fill tube. And then tighten the collars down. Okay, small plastic tube is run down from the hole of the top one into the next, all the way down, and connects. So, the end of the tube swings around and then plugs into this bit. All of this now sets into a larger reservoir. And then gas fittings, gas inlet from the cell. And water from the cell, electrolyte. line. Currently a small base plate. Okay, here we go, guys. The idea is the electrolyte will be in here, gas from the cell will go in here below the water line. The holes will allow gas to travel up again into this chamber. And since there are no holes in the top chamber except this particular outlet, the gas will flow up, down the tube, into the secondary bubbler. From the secondary bubbler, the gas then will travel up inside the tube through the drying mechanism, whether it be uh, fine bronze wool, sponge, or a combination, because we can actually create multiple chambers within there, and then finally the gas will come out the top. The uh, cap I have here uh, does not need to be there, it can be secondary, or we can actually take and place uh, a, uh, an outfitting here in order to take and get gas out. Okay, that's it. I'm done. Thank you.